page 42 rockets well with this lesson things just got a little more interesting this is the first lesson where we are playing notes in both hands at the same time look at the third measure you see in the top staff on the beat one you have a quarter note and in the bottom staff on beat one you have that dotted half notes all at the same time they come on beat one you play them at the same time okay we'll get there I'm going to go through the routine for learning a piece of music. See, this routine works no matter how complicated or easy the music is, the routine works, so I just follow it. Now, you can combine steps together depending on how easy it is, but for the purpose of these lessons, I'm not combining them. I'm doing each step one at a time. So first, I look it over. I see it's two pages long. Treble and bass clef, three, four time signatures, so we're only counting to three now, but quarter notes still gets a count. And I see quarter notes, dotted half notes, half notes, and a quarter rests. We can do all that, I hope. Remember the dotted half note is the same as three quarter notes. Just remember that. So in, in, if a quarter note gets a count, dotted half note gets three counts. It's the whole measure. Now, because both hands are playing at the same time, now I'm going to start taking it just one hand at a time first to make sure I understand what each hand is doing. And then I'll try to put the hands together, and then we'll see. that A lot of times it's almost like starting over, but we'll see. Starting with the right hand, it comes in on the second measure, thumb on C, you're here. So we're in C position here, and it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, rest. And the second line is the same, except the last measure it's a dotted half note. Left hand, we have five here, so you're here in C position, and it's one, two, three, and then there's nothing in the second measure. And then the third measure, you have the F and the G together, and then the E and the G together, to rest, and then the second line is the same. So now I try putting them together, and what do I get? Well, we're in C position. And the first two majors is no big deal, you just got this. Now this, we're putting this the here and here together. These notes. See, you can hesitate all you need to. When you first put the hands together, it doesn't matter. I just want to know which fingers in each hand are working together. And here it's this one. And then in the next measure, it's this one. So I got this and this. The second line is the same. Then once I have that, then I go back through the hard parts and work out the hesitations, and then I go through it all and work out the hesitations so it's a steady beat throughout, no hesitations anywhere. Hmm? Then I think about the articulation, which they don't give us any. I'm going to recommend you connect all these eighth notes together. You can't connect these, but you can connect the right hand. Oh, this is, cha this is a challenge. Let's see. At the beginning, it's not just connect all this together. But then when I go to the third measure, I'm going to play this. I'm going to connect that. I'm going to connect that. And then the next measure, I'm going to connect that. I can't connect that. i got to lift up. But I'm not lifting up here. So you're lifting up in one hand, but not the other. This is something we have to get in piano. It's really important. And eventually you'll develop more and more independence and so the hands can do different things at once. This is one of those things. You're lifting up in one hand but not the other. So the last two measures of the first line, you're here. Well, start with the second measure. You're here. Connect that. And then connect that. So I'm connecting that. It's kind of important. So I'm asking you to start that. Don't lift up in one hand just because you had to lift up in the other. No, please don't do that. You can lift up in the rest, but you got to in both hands. There, both hands have a rest, both steps. Then I think about the dynamics. Well, they give you an F at the top line. That's forte, that means loud. Whatever you think loud is, loud. And in the second line, they give you a P. For piano, that's soft. Now, see, they changed not soft. It's like an echo of the first line. You echoed it, sort of. Uh, speed, moderately fast. Well, again, be happy. It's, it's a fun piece. Now, there is.
is a note at the bottom of the page to try playing it sometime, not all the time, but sometimes playing it where you do the second line an octave higher. So what you're going to do is in the first line, at the end of the first line, you have one beat rest, you're lifting up. During that rest, you're simply going to move the hands up, up here. You're going to pretend middle C went up here. So you come from here to here. Now you can do this one hand at a time, and I recommend, if you can, when we start moving the hands, if you can, always do it one hand at a time. Sometimes you can. So here, do the, depending on which direction you're going, you, the forward hand goes first. So if I'm going up, this is the forward hand. So that goes first and then that, because it doesn't work to go up here because then the hands are in each other's way. So I go here. If I'm going down, this is the forward hand, I go here. So here. You can try doing both at the same time if you want, that's up to you. You do need to look at the keyboard for this one, if you're going to move. If you're not moving, you don't need to look at the keyboard. So if you're going to move, on the last measure, the first line is here, then during the rest, I come up. Now since the left hand is playing first, you can, if you want, get the right hand out of the way and get the left hand where it needs to go. And as you're playing the left hand, then you can get the right hand where it goes. You can do that too. So we do it that way. Which hand needs to play first? Get that where it goes and then get the other hand. But you got to get the right hand out of the way because the left hand wants that. So if I did it that way, it would be like that. The beat has to be a steady beat. We don't mess up the beat because we're moving hands. No, the beat is a steady beat. It's just something we practice. So you go through and learn it. Get it to where it's comfortable. When you think you're ready, let's come back and play it together. I'm not going to go up on the second line. I'm going to play everything right where it's written. I'll give us three counts, and I don't do the dynamics. And the play with me is because we're not performing it. I'm going to play everything about the same because I need you to hear it. One, ready, go. Three. 